Hey guys, I'm Nick in the States, and I did this as a live stream, but actually I didn't put the live stream up live, because the audio really kind of sounded annoying, and I'm sure people would complain. Um, but we had a great time, great group of people stopped by there, so thanks. But today we got the Bad Cat Instruments Unicorn. There was actually a replacement guitar they sent out. Um, after the first guitar got had a few issues, they stood behind it, and then they sent out the replacement. I did buy the case, because if you can have a case with a kitty logo on it, like that, you do it, especially when your daughter loves cats and when, you know, I'm just like. And I'll tell you that it's a soft padded vinyl case. Um, so, like, it feels not like the super cheap ones that you feel. Like, it's actually a very nice case um, for your bat cat. Very cool. Shipped in the case, very well packed. Um, it's a four latch case. Cool. It opens. It has a purpley pinkish interior. Not quite as manhood challenging as the inside of uh, Gibson is, um, but still very nice. And this particular one has this guitar on it. And it has a transparent dark back. It has a one piece neck with a two piece little heel, but no scarf to it here. Has an individualized serial number, vintage tuners. Made in China. This is not a Gibson, folks. This is a real deal bad cat. Dun dun dun! A lot of that! Right? Nice. Rosewood fretboard. Rosewood! The dreaded rosewood! Not rosewood. Yes, rosewood. Um, didn't have any problems importing this one. Um, I think we won't have any problems importing, you know, the one-off stuff from China for a while just because there's no way customs could ever keep up. They didn't staff up because of the new regulations. Um, but actually, quality and nice. And nice job on the routing for the Atlantis. Actually, really nice. I had some Japanese guitars recently, vintage ones, like the Orvilles and stuff. And some of their inlay jobs, the routing around them, not so great. All right, fine. I'll show you the rest of the guitar. There you go. So it's a very slashy, very kind of boneyardy, but not as contrasty as the boneyard shape. And I'll tell you, I like the shape. I like the shape a lot. Um, the horn is not the Gibson horn. It's definitely more relaxed out. It's not as obnoxious as the Gibson ones, which I always feel like they're trying too hard. They look different. This is nice, very less Paul Classic looking, um, but it works very well in, from a look there. Um, and as I documented on the two unboxings that I did live after a failed one, because I said it's private, and <clears throat> after a real one, um, the, the audio sounded like crap for it, but we had some fun people on it. The um, the fretwork on this is actually really, really good. Like, it's it's done proper like, which we like. That was the one concern we had in the last one. Um, and this one's actually really... And the action is actually right where I like it, personally, um, without much buzzing. These are cheap tiny strings. These things will be binned as soon as I get home and we'll throw on some fresh ones. But um, the other thing, first impressions, right? The knobs. They're not your cheap Gibson knobs. Because it's not your cheap Gibson. But it's not your cheap Gibson knobs. These are actually very Gibson style. I mounted a little high. I can adjust that. That's no big deal. Um, kind of your average cheap stop tail. Your retaining bar or retaining um, piece of metal there. Um, bridge. And so... You know, and I think perfectly usable. They're not going to last 300 years, um, but for now, the retaining wire. That's what I was looking for, by the way, earlier, wire. But for now, they're actually really quite cool. Cool zebra pickups. Neat thing is there's no adjustment screws on either of them. Interesting. Haven't plugged it in, haven't played that yet. Um, as I was talking about before, three-way switch. Uh, feels like it's switchcraft style. Um, haven't looked at the pots and stuff. When I do the full review, I'll give you all those kind of photos. Um, the nut, actually the nut looks like it was cut very well. And to the proper depth. That's a good setup. Nice. And the bad cat. The cat. We love the cat. Um, it's a veneer on the back. So you can see the wood through it. It's all one piece. But when you look at the ends, couldn't really tell on the back side. It's kind of dark towards as it goes across the bottom. But from the top, 
You see one little seam here, seam here, just if you really hunt for it. But it's really hard to know how many pieces of mahogany make up the back. Um, and from a weight, she's probably about eight pounds, seven and a half to eight and a half, somewhere in that range. So comfy. Um, the top has some nice dimension to it. It uh, it looks great, right? I mean, look at that. The one thing of the guys at Bad Cats, and I mean, a lot of across a lot of kind of your direct AliExpress sellers and stuff, is you see their factories use just they they make great finishes. And if you actually go on Bad Cat now on their eBay page, you can actually see a lot of their ones from this batch, in, in fact that they now have in stock. And they've started stocking them so that the amount of time it takes to get to you comes down dramatically. This took a little under two weeks, probably 10 days. Uh, I think in a normal scenario, two two weeks, give or take a little bit, probably would be a good estimate if they use the same shipping method. Um, <clears throat> and for 260 bucks, sometimes they have some sales shipped. And of that price, I think like $80 of it is what it costs them to ship it to you. So. You know, if you think about what this costs before shipping, it's it's pretty incredible. Um, and uh, and Jason over there is a great guy. He's a general manager. Great guy to deal with. Um, I always love the inspirational words on the cool little bad cat card that comes in it that says, try, believe, wishes come true, never give up. Bad cat instruments since 1993. Craftsmanship in China with a cool little bam. It's my uh, Bad Cat Model of Authenticity card, which we like. So here, here you go. This is this. Take a look at this this weekend. Um, once again, thanks to everybody that was on the live stream. The audio was kind of crappy, so I'm not going to use that um, for uh, what we put up for the unboxing stuff for this. I'm going to put this video up instead, just because, yeah, I don't want to get that much static from people over the static on the video. I tried cleaning it up. It wasn't having it. Um, Cool, cool stuff. It'll be interesting to play this side by side with the vintage V100 I got, uh, with some of the Bentons that I have, um, and uh, we'll even do it. I've got some, I got some high-end stuff. But here's a good point. Like for those of you that saw um, yesterday or today, I put up a Gibson M2 video, and made in the USA, Far East Electronics and Hardware. Um, they were at $3.99 Amazon. You can sometimes find them Amazon deals for less. Um, or this for $2.65. You know, and they're, they're theoretically, um, oh, sorry, they're theologically, like what, what angle they're coming from, what they are, completely different things, but, and yet, they're really not. And so it allows you to kind of look at the value of what, how important is the made in the USA versus made in China. Some people, it's a huge deal. Some people, it's not. I, uh, I embrace all of God's children, meaning I love all guitars. <laughs> God's children's a joke. I stay out of religious crap. Um, but I embrace all guitars because each one can be awesome in its own way. Um, sometimes you have to divorce price from the guitar one way or the other. Anywho, with that philosophical deep thoughts, I've been Nick in the States. This is a bad cat unicorn. Go check out their eBay store where they have things that look just like this. I'll scroll through some of the really cool ones, and my understanding is everything that's in the store, including the Lucite ones, the the, um, the regular unicorns, the unicorn customs, and I think they have some black uh, BC 553s, 533s, one or the other, um, there too, the 335 style one, like the blue one I have, and those are all in stock, and I know they're going to have some more in the future. Check them out. I'm digging this. I'm really, it's made my weekend, which is cool. Thanks, guys. As always. I have a nick mistakes. Yes, folks, I have issues. Take care.